All right, so here we're going to do the um, just the lecture part of the crank slider um, four bar mechanism, or excuse me, uh, um, the uh, crank slider. Uh, uh, well, the crank slider. It is sort of technically a four bar mechanism uh, because there are uh, four bars when it's offset. Right. So a lot of times we'll see a crank slider, and the the center of the crank will be in line with the um, the line of action but here there it is offset so we start out with um, R2 and the convention in the book here is to come up to R2 and then all of a sudden um, the R3 is actually uh, pointed downwards right so that's why um, uh, you, you'll see there's a negative right here so as we make this vector loop right in here you'll see that we go R2 um, and then we're going backwards up R3, and then we're going da backwards against R4, uh, and backwards against R1. Um, so we end up writing out the thing as A, E, J, theta 2, minus B, E, um, J, theta uh, 3, minus C, E, J, theta, 4, and then minus D equals 0, right? And, and we just assume that theta, 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, uh, it has no coefficient in there. If we take the time derivative of it, as we are used to already, we have um, A, omega, 2, J, E to the J, theta, 2, um, minus b b omega three j e to the j theta three minus c omega four. Um, oh, but but why? By the way, forget about that. Look, this vector right here never changes in length. Oops, sorry never changes in length and never changes in, in theta. Therefore, the time derivative of it is zero. But in the uh, uh, crank slider, this R right here, it is moving back and forth. So we go minus D dot right in here. It does change. And so that's equal to uh, zero. Um, and that's, that's the thing. Okay, so what is D dot? D dot is just the length uh, of the piece. If it was, by the way, if it was an off, if it was a, a like a piston and engine arrangement right here, where we had uh, a line like this right here, um, that that would be we would end up getting the same type of configuration, right? That would be just this length right here that was changing back and forth, or it really would be the velocity of this uh, piston right there at that. Um, so, uh, uh, and from this uh, vector diagram that we have down here, we would find that VA would be equal to, so like if we were having uh, this VA, it's going to be equal to A omega 2 J E J theta 2, and then we just use the Euler identity uh, to break this down and to get these uh, components right here. Um, and then uh, what we'd have, um, except that they drew it for some reason with a negative. I guess it just it looked good to them. They drew this with a negative uh, omega. Just be aware of that. And then um, the uh, velocity of A with respect to B here is going to be equal to B omega 3 J E J theta 3. But the one that we know is uh, velocity of B is going to be uh, equal to D dot, right? So that's how that's represented up above right here. So what we find is that we get we could find the velocity of A is going to be equal to the velocity of B plus the velocity of B with respect to A. And that's supposed to be a B with respect to A right there, all those. Right? So once again, we see this same equation here for the relative velocity is something that's tying everything together uh, in terms of trying to figure out 
um, what these terms are. Now, if we were going to, um, uh, let's see, I need to get some more room here. So, oh, I just got rid of all that. That's great. Um, if we want to try to solve this thing uh, that we had previously written as a omega 2 j e j theta 2 uh, minus b omega 3 j um, e j theta 3 minus d dot and um, there's going to be two unknowns and that's usually we're going to have omega 2 as be the input right and then uh, what we would want to find is omega 3 and d dot um, that's going to be the case of the crank slider because it's a crank slider because we're cranking it and it's sliding so that's the reason why we go in that order we call it that we crank it it slides so we want to know how it slides um, and uh, uh, let's see did I write this the right way? Well, I didn't write it before. Okay. Anyway, um, so we uh, put in the Euler identity of, a and so maybe I'll give myself some room. A om omega two j cosine of theta two uh, plus j uh, sine of theta two minus b omega three j cosine of theta 3 plus j um, sine of theta 3 and then minus d dot equals 0. We take a look there and what we're going to find is we get a omega 2 cosine of theta 2, right? Uh, nope, need a j in there. Excuse me. And uh, minus a omega 2 sine of theta 2 uh, minus b omega 3 j cosine of theta 3 plus b um, omega 3. Okay, because this one's going to be plus because that was the j squared right there. Turn that negative into a plus uh, sine of theta 3 minus d dot equals zero. And so if we decide to take uh, the real ones, uh, they're right here, and right there, and right there, right? So the real components, um, is that true? No, I took the imaginary ones first. Let's take the imaginary ones first, okay. The imaginary components are just this component and that component. So we say that it's gonna be A, Oh, by the way, that needed to be a 2 right there, right? A omega 2 cosine of theta 2 uh, minus B um, omega 3 uh, cosine of theta 3 is equal to 0. We're able to solve for omega 3, easy enough. A cosine of theta 2 divided by uh, B um, cosine of theta 3 omega 2, right? So, um, if you ha if you know the input, you can find what the um, what the connecting rod um, uh, angular velocity is going to be, and then if you know that, you can now we can go back and we can find uh, the the real components right here. Um, there's going to be uh, three parts to them right here, right here, right here, and right here. And we could set that up, and we could basically uh, find um, the answer to this. So d dot is going to be equal to negative a uh, omega 2 uh, sine of theta 2 plus b times omega 3 uh, sine of theta 3 right here, right? Which uh, we can find because we just found omega uh, uh, 3 up here. So that's the idea behind the um, slider crank, uh, excuse me, crank slider. Well, I'm going to do a separate video. It's not going to be very long, I don't think, uh, to do the um, slider crank. All right. So this is the crank slider, and then we have the uh, slider crank. Um, this, I believe we're going to use the same equation, so let's remember that for, uh, for the next one. So I'll make another video. <laughs>